This video tutorial explains the layout design process of two input NOR gate. This is the test bench setup used for verification of NOR gate. Here I want to perform the layout of NOR gate. It has two PMOS connected in series and two NMOS connected in parallel. So to perform the layout, go to the launch. Click on Layout Excel. Click on Create New. OK. See that the type is Layout. It opens another work area window where you can complete the layout process. Straight away, to place the components, go to Connectivity. Click on Generate All from Source. See that the IO pins are placed on the metal. Click on generate and select this in boundary so that you can place the components within the boundary. This is the PR boundary and these are the components placed. To see the inner schematic, press Shift F. To see how these components are connected, go to the window, click on Assistance, Navigator. So before that, you can click on used layers to have only limited layers. What are the layers used? You can have only them. So this navigator will show how the transistors are connected. VA, VB and VB, V out. So if I see that VA, this transistor is connected. So these two transistors are connected. So prior to that, the these two are PMOS which are connected in series. So series means there should be a direct connection. So it is just like a overlap. Now these two transistors are connected in a series. If you want to move, just use M. If I want to increase the working area, press yes, so that you can stretch it. Select it and stretch it. So this is the work area. So before that, if you see, I have source, gate and drain. I want a well. So select this transistor, press Q to edit the object properties. Click on parameter. So before that, select the transistor first. Press Q. Click on parameter. Click on body type to be detached. And use the top tab, not the left. Click OK. See that these two are properly connected. Just stretch it and leave it so that they can overlap. If you see here, the well is not completely connected. So use the N well. Click on N well. And you can go to create shape. Use rectangle to complete this well. Or use shortcut key as R. So select this point and connect these wells. Now the well is completed. Similarly, these two transistors, let me connect this first or align this transistor. These two transistors are also connected. Just try to overlap it. These two transistors are overlapped. So what I can do is, I can make the direct connection by selecting this VA. Or prior to that, you can just move this, press M. Or select this, press M. 
to have sufficient space between these two. Select this VA. Select the poly. This is the poly which I want to connect. Press P. So this is the routing connection. Press enter. Now both are connected. In the similar manner, you just connect this VB also. Connect the VB. You can see that the VB. I can come here. Just hit enter. And again, I can draw from here and complete the routing. Enter. And this one, select metal. See that the metal is drawn. Hit enter and again you can select this end and complete it. Press enter. Since this is the output line, you can connect this also. You can move this or you can just bring this closer. Press P. Just complete the routing first. Then you can align it. Escape for come out of that mode and align them. If not, you will get alignment errors. So it is completed. Or let me move this. I'll stretch this end. Use S. Hit enter. Since I want to connect these two inputs, I'll place VR. Rotate it. Hide it. So this is one input. This is the VA. VA pin and you can directly connect it by pressing P. You have to stretch up to here, up to the contact which is in white. So you can align them if you want. If any missing is there, you can align them. Right now this metal is not aligned properly. Okay. It is okay now. Similarly, you can bring one more polymetal via, rotate it and you can place here. So this is the second input VB. Select this, press P and stretch it. Hit enter. So it is okay. So we have connected the VA, VP, V out. These are completed. Next we have to connect the body or, or well of this NMOS. So select this transistor, press Q. Select the transistor, press Q. Click on parameter. See that body type is detached and we have a bottom tab. Click OK. This is also a well which is unfilled or unconnected. Use PW dummy or P well drawing. Use R to connect this. Now it is connected. 
if you see that these two transistors are connected to the ground so we can have vdd rail and ground rails to do that select the metal press r to have a rectangular path right from here you can have this similarly for ground this is okay now you can connect the vdd press p and connect this or you can connect up to here so whatever we are connecting you can see that these are missing only ground is there unconnected so you have to connect the ground press p again here two things are to be connected to the ground or two n mos to be connected to the ground so what i will do is i'll connect one more fill so i have made all the connections as per the circuit diagram now i want to verify this if you want to have the labels you can have the labels so if this select this pin and you can go to create label so it is already automatically placed so if you want to decrease the font size of this label use q and adjust the height to 0.1 so in this manner you can add the labels of all for vdd ground and all right now i want to verify this layout whether it has passed all the drc rules for 90 nanometer technology or not so for that go to ashura click on run drc so select the gpdk90 okay yes so it says that there are no drc errors found that means we have done it perfectly so what i mean to say is just one second i want to make the comparison with this layout and schematic this is fit and this one fit so whatever we have done that is this circuit schematic has to be compared with the layout also to do that go to the ashura and click on run lvs once the drc is completed you have to go for the lvs run same file see that both are nor and one is schematic the other is layout and you have the same library click ok save it wait for the progress to complete so it shows the message saying that there are zero cells which are having mismatches that means whatever we have in the schematic the same cells are there and the same pins parameters everything's are matching if i say yes it gives me the message saying that the schematic and layout are matching that means whatever i have aimed this is the circuit which i have aimed and for this circuit i want to complete the layout so both are matching that is possible 
by performing the LVS. So this is how you perform the layout of a NOR gate.